Dahlia. Los Angeles, 1947, was a city of dreams and ambitions, where the glamour of Hollywood casts a spell over the post-World War II era. But amidst the glitz and allure, a chilling darkness shattered the city's facade in the morning of January 15th. The sun rose over a vacant lot casting an eerie glow on a scene that would forever stain the annals of American crime history. In the heart of this otherwise nondescript lot lay the lifeless body of a young woman, her form grotesquely severed at the waist. The brutality of the crime was immediately evident. It was an act of sadism that defied comprehension. It was the Los Angeles Herald Express that first coined the name that would come to define the victim, Elizabeth Short, 22, in her tragic fate, the Black Dahlia. This macabre moniker drew parallels to the title of a popular film more of the time, The Blue Dahlia. As the investigation began in earnest, law enforcement grappled with the enormity of the crime. The Los Angeles Police Department found itself thrust into the spotlight, facing pressure to solve a case that seemed to defy logic. The world watched as detectives sifted through leads, questioned witnesses, and pursued every possible angle in their quest for answers. The Black Dahlia case became a window into the darker side of the American dream. Elizabeth's tragic end highlighted the fragility of life in a city that both promised and crushed dreams. Her story became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most vibrant lives could be snuffed out in the shadows. As the days turned into weeks and the investigation continued, the city held its breath, waiting for justice to be served. But the road ahead would be long and twisted, marked by false leads dead ends, and the unsettling realization that the one responsible remained at large. People in and out of Los Angeles were saddened by Elizabeth's fate. A young Hollywood hopeful, she left home in 1943, seeking adventure and opportunity. With the war in full swing, the city was bustling with activity, and Elizabeth's arrival coincided with the height of wartime glamour. She found herself working a series of odd jobs to make ends meet. Still, she soon became known for her striking appearance and her penchant for dressing in black earning her the nickname the Black Dahlia. Despite her efforts, fame remained out of reach and Elizabeth's aspirations slowly began to give way to a more complicated reality. Elizabeth's life in Los Angeles was marked by a web of acquaintances and relationships many of which would later be scrutinized in the wake of the search for the culprit. She was known to frequent nightclubs and socialize with both men and women, but the true nature of these connections remained elusive. Her transient lifestyle made her difficult to pin down and her reasons for being in certain places at certain times were often a mystery. 
Rumors and speculations about Elizabeth's personal life began to swirl, fueled by the sensationalist media coverage that followed her murder. The discovery of Elizabeth's body sent shockwaves through the Los Angeles authorities and beyond. Looking at what was done to her, many initially guessed that the person might be from the medical field. Not long after she was found, the list of suspects grew rapidly. Friends, acquaintances, and even strangers were scrutinized. Among the names brought into the spotlight was Mark Hansen, the owner of the Florentine Gardens nightclub where Elizabeth was known to frequent. Hansen's association with Elizabeth and his reportedly possessive nature fueled speculation about his potential involvement. Despite the tireless efforts of law enforcement, the case ultimately proved to be an enigma that defied easy resolution and the leads that had seemed promising often turned into dead ends. As the years passed, the case continued to captivate the public imagination. The Black Dahlia's case became a symbol of both the darkness that could lurk beneath the glitzy veneer of Hollywood and the enduring mysteries that refused to be neatly solved. The tale of the Black Dahlia, with its mix of Hollywood allure and enduring mystery, has left an indelible mark on American history. Decades have passed since the discovery of her body, yet her story remains as haunting and compelling as ever. The case's enigmatic nature, its unresolved questions, and its exploration of the darker aspects of human nature continue to captivate the collective imagination. The Black Dahlia murder case stands as a testament to the intricate interplay between true crime, media, and cultural fascination. The coverage that surrounded the case was a precursor to the modern era of true crime obsession, where stories of real-life mysteries and tragedies hold an uncanny allure for audiences seeking to understand the complexities of the human experience. Through the lens of Elizabeth's life and demise, broader societal issues have been explored, gender dynamics, societal anxieties, and the interplay between dreams and reality. Her sad fate represents a convergence of these forces, a reflection of a time and place where the promise of Hollywood glamour could easily give way to the shadows that lurked beneath. that followed the initial investigation, countless theories and suspects have emerged, each contributing to the mystique of the case. The lack of conclusive evidence has allowed speculation to thrive, fueling a cottage industry of writers, researchers, and armchair detectives who have dedicated themselves to uncovering the truth. The Black Dahlia case reminds us that some mysteries are destined to remain unsolved, challenging our understanding of justice and the limits of human knowledge. Despite advancements in forensic technology and the passage of time, the identity of Elizabeth Short's killer has remained frustratingly out of reach. Yet, Perhaps the true legacy of Elizabeth lies beyond the details of her death. Her story is a reminder that every victim is more than the circumstances of their demise, more than the headlines that immortalize their tragedy. She was a young woman with dreams, aspirations, 
and a life full of untold stories. As we reflect on the legacy of the Black Dahlia, we are reminded of the delicate balance between fascination and respect, between intrigue and empathy. Elizabeth's memory lives on not only in the mystery surrounding her death. Elizabeth's memory lives on not only in the mystery surrounding her death, but in the humanity that she represents, a humanity that seeks to understand, to uncover truth, and to remember that behind every true crime narrative is a life that deserves to be acknowledged, even as the shadows of the past continue to beckon us into the unknown. Amidst the swirl of speculation and shock, the Black Dahlia case also unveiled a series of important lessons that continue to resonate today. First and foremost was the glaring reminder of the significance of sound investigative procedures. Law enforcement's efforts were often hindered by challenges in evidence preservation, and as the media seized upon the sensational aspects of the case, crucial details might have been lost in the frenzy. The urgency to solve a case should never compromise the integrity of the investigation itself. Media sensationalism emerged as another powerful lesson. The case drew intense media coverage, creating a spectacle that captivated the public's imagination. Yet, in the midst of sensational headlines and speculative reporting, the core mission of accurate and responsible journalism often got buried. The Black Dahlia case serves as a reminder that media outlets bear a responsibility to report accurately and ethically, even in the face of sensational stories. However, perhaps the most enduring lesson is the enduring impact of cold cases. The Black Dahlia case remains unsolved, a mystery that continues to haunt both law enforcement and the collective memory of a city. Yet, it's in these cold cases that the potential for renewal resides. With advances in technology, fresh perspectives, and dedicated efforts, cold cases can be re-examined, sometimes leading to long-awaited breakthroughs. The Black Dahlia case serves as a somber reminder that even in the face of tragedy and darkness, there are lessons to be learned. It teaches us about the importance of methodical investigative procedures, responsible media coverage, and the potential for justice even in the most challenging and long-standing mysteries. As time marches on, may these lessons continue to guide us reminding us of the past while inspiring a more informed and just future. And with that, we have come to the end of our video. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. This has been saying, see you next time.